When the Spanish came to the New World through the Caribbean in the 1500s, they encountered people living in these islands, especially in Puerto Rico. They called these people Tainos. And although most have perished since the arrival of the Spanish over five centuries ago, they still exist in the genetics and the culture of the modern people of the Caribbean, especially in Puerto Ricans. We're going to look at three interesting facts about these people and how they live their lives. The first interesting fact we're going to get into is that the Taino had a matrilineal system of kinship, descent, and inheritance. Taino society was based on respect for the female figure. They held women in great regard. When a male heir did not exist, the inheritance or succession line would go to the oldest male child of the sister of the deceased. Also, newly married Taino couples would live in the household of the maternal uncle. In Taino society, the maternal uncle was more important in the lives of his niece's children than even their biological father. The uncle was the one who introduced the boys to men's societies in his sister and his family's clan. The second interesting fact about the Taino is actually based on sport. But beyond sport, it was also intertwined with religion. The Taino played a ceremonial ball game called Bate. The game consisted of two teams, each having between 10 to 30 players, which were usually men, but sometimes consisted of women also. They played a game using a solid rubber ball and a specially designed rectangular court in the village's center plaza. The game was played by the ball going back and forth between the teams. The ball could only be struck from the shoulder, elbow, head, knees, etc., but never with the hands. Points were earned when the ball failed to be returned from a non-faulted play, similar to volleyball but without the use of the hands. The game continued until a certain amount of points was earned by a team and that would determine the winner. One very important aspect of the game is that it was used as conflict resolution between communities. The third very interesting fact about the Taino has to do with their language. And when I say language, I'm not speaking about Spanish. In fact, the Taino spoke an Arawakan language throughout the Caribbean, including Puerto Rico. However, as the Taino culture declined during Spanish colonization, the language was replaced by Spanish and other European languages like English and French, and within a hundred years of European contact, the Taino language is believed to have become extinct. However, the Taino language did become a source of new words into European languages. And these words include barbecue, canoe, hammock, hurricane, iguana, etc. Also, the islands in the Caribbean still had the original Taino names like Cuba, Jamaica, Bahamas, and Haiti. Puerto Rico is probably one of the few whose name was changed from its original Borinquen. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Please hit the like button, share, don't forget to subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more videos.